fire escape through the looking glass. The episode opens in Moyo's gallery, where Aaron, Chinea, Diego, John, and Zena, Suzanne are eating a huge sumptuous meal, saying in Thanksgiving. It's like the mother all exotic papa platters. The mood is edgy as it eats and talk. Diego, I changed my opinion. Someone offers a better one. Till then, I am leaving Moya on uh, the next planet with shipping traffic. The distance is a bowl of something. Pass those and don't help yourselves. John, you're stronger as a sum of our parts, kids. Suzanne, we are under no obligation to function as a unit, John. John Suzanne, I understand that. We all have our separate goals, but he takes a bite of something. Ah, so Amelia, what the hell is that? Glad you're happy. That's Condor. Don't see, even for pagans. John, well, how long was it under your butt lip getting dental effect? Aaron, wait a minute. Whatever the rest of you decide, I will not abandon Moya. John, good. There you go. Suit yourself. Got nowhere to go anyway. Sedan, I must confess my consideration by agreeing with Diego that if Moya is no longer able to cyber us, then we are all at risk. Chainania. Can I say something? Everyone knows. John Moya have been very good to us. Now you want to abandon her? So you go, I want to see my son. It's not likely to happen aboard a present biomechanoid ship. I say then, Ryder, what do you think? Why do you immediately assuming impotuous, testifying tone? My Moya was been had been, as long as I can remember, my protector, her home, our companion and friend, John Amen. Ryder and Heather, our relationships grow, they also change. You think we can trade her at a faster vessel? Aaron angrily reaches across the table to give Ryder a shake and snarls at her. Why is not a possession or loneliness? They go with Fernand Rigel. If you ignore the messenger, which is effortless, a message of sound, perhaps we've all, we've all grown the music of. The doctor holds up his food item. Looks like a large wrinkly breadstick and demands, What will have made this Charlotte? John, we have to see call for a space chicken. All I had was space rodent. Sedan and Sedan help. He helped with revulsion. Spit out what they've been they're chewing. Why? Protecting the baby Diego. They are blaming her for that? Diego, that is selfish, moral doing. That's a reason. Rigel, we must he's right, you know. All we want we all want to leave the uncharted territories and return home, but you, Sedan, yes, you will be more content to stay, John. I want to get home as badly as anyone else. This is where the wormholes are. Aaron Fine says stay, but be honest about your motives, Triton. Quid I was sorry. You want me on your side now? Aaron, no. Tina, I know I got I just got here. But can I please say something? To everyone no, Pollock. His visage flickers for the life of a clam shell visual viewer. Excuse the intrusion. Tina suckers frankly at the the others, but Moya and I would like a word as to the relations. Shinene, that's what we've been trying to tell you guys. DRN, uh, D's have ears. He nods at DRD, sitting and watching them nearby. No wonder you guys have been flying around in circles. Pilot, carefully sounding with something be- between hurt and myth, is trying to keep his voice even. Lies aware of your concerns over her condition, regrets not being more responsible, responsive to your needs. Suzanne, please don't misunderstand, Pilot. We simply, Pilot, you do not wish to be captured because of a pregnancy. Sedan, guilty, yes. Aaron, we have a, we just had a discussion, Pilot. Pilot, that includes the thoughts of abandoning us. Why do you have our incredulously? You want us to stay? Pilot, his very minutes flickers a light from his first console. Play with his face and darken. His eyes prolonged eye contact, of course. We must fulfill, we are most fulfilled when serving others. Presence gratifying and comforting. John, let us talk a little while longer, Pilot. Your plates are well taken. Pilot, resolute. You may talk all you want, but please re- prepare for immediate starburst. Sand and alarm. Oh, I thought Roy well, couldn't starburst for another 15 hours. Pilot, our energy low, Heather. She shares your concerns about being recaptured. This is proof to you, you. that she's capable of Sudan. Oh, no. I won't be necessary, Pilot. My well, engines can be heard powering up. Pilot satisfaction starburst in five micromets. Cut external view of Moya going into starburst. Go back to the gallery where the crew strains in slow motion against all the supreme crew bursts of speed. Not a normal starburst. They're going to save her 
Rigel seemed less affected. The rest struggled as if against heavy G force to speak. I mean, up to right. So you go about some odd food item. Now, this is really is incredible. One of my favourites on the table. Irish friend, what? Smoke? Feathers and newts? Quite easy to make, really. By that moment, there's a blinding flash of light, and Moya lurches it violently. The crew and the dinner become ebbing, and Moya comes to a very abrupt stop. As the crew begin to pick themselves up the floor, Moya continues to shudder, vague as escape from the reaction lines. The red dust struck her toe, faint, faint blinking sound is heard. Go to Aaron, as he helps her up. Are you right, Aaron? You must have hit something. Gone and on Starbus? Zidane moans with pain. There you go. What's that noise? Your friends are bleating. Zidane, 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 are you okay? Goes to Zidane. Zidane, my arm, the fibres are torn. Try, oh, Aaron. Pilot, what's happening? Gone, pilot, pilot? There you go, pilot. Zidane, I'm all right, Zidane. I'll heal. Where's Rigel? Zidane? Zidane. Rigel? Zidane, where is he? Well, it's Zidane. Seen it? Rigel. John, the crew pauses to stare at brilliant white light now streaming from the valley windows. What the hell is that? They go, I check command to Aaron. You look out the pilot to John. You look, go to damage assessment. He tries into the corridor where he suddenly blazes in red light. Turns back to the others. They watch him disappear in a flash of white light. Aaron Diego, John Diego. Aaron says Anne, standing, says she's fighting back, back, panic. They can't disappear like that. Aaron, you quietly to John. Pilot command. John command. Aaron to Xenia. You fix her arm and it's straight to command. John go. Aaron step, takes a step and immediately bathes. Blue light. He's sucked away into it with a little flash of white light. Aaron. John. Sorry, Zen. John, what's happening? Zen, terrified. I don't want to die. Cut to John running into the command. Out of the rain blue point, nothing but white light can be seen. John Pollock, are you there? Pollock on the time shell. Zuba, standing very anxious, frightened. Where are the others? John, you tell me what happened. Put the pilot a bit packing, packing, panicking. I'm not sure, still running analysis. John squinting at the bright light outside of Moya. Is that a star? Crow, pilot cut to him, his den. Unknown, attempting to slow radiation filters. Now he grunts and blue light dims. Command as its shutters close against it. John hurrying around the command, checking readouts. There go Aaron and Rigel have disappeared. What happened? Did we hit something? Finally, his den in analysis mode. Still unknown, quarantine, qualified, disappeared. John had here one second on the next. Is this, oh, not the building, that building appeared, those readings all over the map. Pilot, whatever happened, most reading systems are out. Propulsion, guidance, comms. Even my uh, DINs aren't responding. John, this is nuts. Nothing seems to be working. Here's Moya. John, pilot frightened, ruefully, and in great pain. John, what is out there? Pilot in the den, damaging its armour. They were later discovered at once. The DINs established paternal tracking. I show Rigel in 28. All of a sudden, make it bay free. Your search for Diego. John, keep looking. He's missed exit command. Cut the corridor aboard Moya. Zidane angry, I said no to Zena. Zena frightened angry, you can't stop me. I know how to fly a transport pod. I'm getting off this ship, John entering. But not without anyone else, she remarks. Her ears alarm. Zidane, well useless, till the fibers regenerate. John, pilot's found Aaron and Rigel. Zidane, does he know what's happening? John, not yet. He's still a little freaked out. It could probably use some company. Zidane, okay, I'll go straight to the den. She exits, Zena tries to sneak off in the other direction. John grabs her arm. John, the comms don't work while he was on tier 8. You have to find him on foot. Shine, Shine, me, I get failed. John, listen, sunshine. You want to be part of this crew? Shine, on your good days. John, this is one of the good days, taunting. I thought you were doing the mission to tough check of the universe. Yeah, yeah, but I won't can kiss or kick or cry on my way out of it. This way, the way, way, way different. John, you bet your ass it is. Pilot can't get those outer doors open so you can fly the pl- that plod around. And it's put on its pad, soft and chaining them. It's going to be okay. Pilot's on the job. Under the circumstances, this really isn't that comforting. She and they pull, tier eight. John Rigel, she turns to go. Cut to John, his entrance, main to bay three. Looking for Aaron. John calling Aaron. Aaron, where are you? 
In response, he muttered to himself, Oh, come on, Aaron, give me a, some kind of sign. The birch birch nearby begins to shake, taller than the top of it rattled about. The skeleton binking sound uh, is heard. Just as the starbird starts up again, and John slowly approaches the table, turning his flash of red and white light. Although he's still on the matrix day, he now feels the red light, a sort of organic bubbling sound. John sees, sees dizzy and staggers immediately, aware that some sort of shift has taken place. John, Pollock, Aaron, are you there? Here? Ah, uh, what the hell is this device? He starts to make his way back from the matrix bay and out. He can barely stay upright, his breath to interfing onto things for support. He's noxious as Noya seems to yaw and twist around him. By our own pilot, oh, he vomits a sickly red light. Before he continues to make his way to Pollock Den, he tries a, a tag around his eyes, but try and keep out the noisy effect of red light. Breathes heavily through his nose. He enters Pilot's Den. Great number two is not there. John crawls over to the console and looks over at its edge. He calls Pilot, Pilot, Pilot. Dr. Dago is also trapped with red light. Moya. He staggers into the gravery, still lit at the remains of their early feast. He's struggling mightily against sickness, breathing hard to keep his growing gorge down. There goes. Is anyone here? Come on, is anyone here? He spots John groping his way around the corridor. A moment is both affected by some sort of dip. Doppler effect, great effect. Causes his world to go in motion sickness. Quite and quite, and I can't type him. But John doesn't hear him. Sinks to the floor, unable to stand in the floor. Poor Johnny staggers to the, into the command. He is a sacro binking sound and break, breaks out from his blindfold. He sees between two Moya's ribs, seeing a patch of odd light. John Mumbley, it's the same light. It's the same light that the maintenance bay. He calls up to a constant suck into the patch of light. He's about to find himself laying on his back on the floor. Command. There's lit totally blue light. Blue light is occupied by sound. A constant alarm sound in the perch of high pitched squeals and scratching. It's now enough to be acutely painful. Makes variable exchange practically impossible. But at least there's no vertical. John takes off a trot, bursts up to a pilot's den. Then we again find no pilot, only an empty console. He can then continue to the maintenance bay. John screaming, but his own his voice is barely audible. Aaron, Aaron, I can't hear you, Aaron. He spots her. She is over her back to him and reaches out to tap her on the shoulder. He wears around a gun and pulse gun already. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You almost give me a heart attack. Are you okay? Do you hear me? Aaron shaking her head. Nothing, nothing. John pointing at her. You already, you all right? Are you okay? He says, 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 John, g- g- assesses John. Gives the phone up. Aaron, there you go anywhere? John, what? Aaron, present. Pantomime, there you go. And points to her eyes. John, there you go. No, pantomime, worries him. Why do I have you seen it? Aaron points to her, her eyes and shakes her head. No. John just says to her, then yells, follow me. Takes her back to command. Her book doors between Moya and Midway. He gets up the treasure table and tries to get out. The same point as he entered at. Come on and look up. There's no doors. He drops back to the floor. Crush his crap. Aaron compromises again. What? Yeah, look for Dago. Yeah, Roger, yeah. Then as they exit together, they proceed to wait to search Moya. Things get incredibly bizarre. Increasingly bizarre. John hears ominous roar and tearing sound through the clanging and squealing of blue light. Turns away from Aaron. Sees lights of white. Lines of white light tearing from the air. As if some great claws were ripping. A very covered space. It passes. Aaron approaches. The pen minds he saw. But she, sh- she shakes her head. And continue on. Shredding white light which rips through the air between behind them. They enter Rigel's headquarters. He's in there, but John hears a stiletto blinking sound. And spots his tape recorder sitting on the table. He reaches up for the recorder and his hand depends to appears as if in a slash of light. He tries to put it back put back, but it's sucked in as he cries out, John Aaron! His scream which starts a blue moya ends as he pours into the rear Rigel. He's standing at the table, simply weeping. He looks at John and spread out into the distance. He is laughing uproariously. Rigel, we'll look for you. Looking around, Rigel. He advances wearily, looking around the muttering. The yellow light. Don't hurt, can't hear. This is, this is good. So Rigel continues to roar with laughter. What's so damn funny? Rigel, you, you're making less sense than usual. 
but in a cute way with big Jones and other paranoids and the laughter. John cute? I don't know what you've been smoking, but we we uh, we got the serious problem here. So I do nothing the great meal good meal would serve. So I'm sure laughs and laughs. John, what's what are you what's up with you? Why are you up? Everything's up. Everything's up up. Joy and Rigel listen to me. My read a serious problem. So ever she hit her cool still kind of giggles a bit. So kind of fracture. I don't know I mean we're all here. We got we're not in the same time or place in space as Mal. The slowly creepies over his face. The sound that goes with the yellow light is heard by you like the goofy crank music box playing random notes. Shakes his head to clear the giggles. The threat of overwhelm him. Have you seen Dago? Why do Dago don't know? Nobody's here. Not even Pollock. Quite frenetic, frantic at first. Now I realise I'm quite like being on my own. He erupts in a gale of merriment. John, a very tiny smile, frightened with lips. Yeah, that's the way I rather usually prefer you do. But right now we've stick together. He rips out Rigel his seat. A cartoon bush is heard and Rigel whoops. But the cut to John and Rigel stroking down, jolly down the corridor. Yellow Ma- Maya. Rigel's in the back door with a joke. Rigel. When a Trojan priest turns, Trojan character says, Don't bother me. She had seen the other, my mother. My mother. John bursts in laughter. He can barely walk. And has to grab onto, onto Rigel's sofa chair. See where well, well, he was. No, 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 no. Her mother, he struggles to regain his composure. Ah, oh, what are you, am I doing, Rigel? Entering the spirit of things, I say. John, I'm trying to be serious. Rigel, Rigel, look at his face. Do you remember what happened? Why did this? Don't be like, like you, my Trojan girl, Jared. They laugh and the mood laugh, the scream of laughter. John forces himself to stop. No, 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 afterwards. That's a conclusion. conclusion. Right, yes, says Galatia. Yes, but we survived it. What's the why? Why? Why worry? Go on, grasping. There's something happening to Mara and us. You don't make jokes. Rigel's deadly serious. They says, No, I don't tell jokes. It is older had bits before. John forcing himself to stop being silly. I didn't I didn't laugh at them. It's this place. It's doing doing something to us. Right, yes, it's saying something to us. We both seem well feel better. Must have eaten. John, well, there's a way of in, there's a way out. A moment of terrible roaring sound of ripping shreds of light. John saw blue moyers heard. I see nearby. Hey, John and Doe. Did you see that? Why do we, yes, yes, it's doing something to us. We both feel better once we've eaten. John, where? Where, where's that? Where, where? There's a way in, there's a way out. A moment of terrible roaring sound. A ripping shreds of light. John saw. A blown moyer I heard and see nearby. Hey, Brenda, you see that, Rigel? Now we really serious. Yes, I did. Cut to John packing. Casey and Rigel right behind him. Well, either Nero giggling. His hallucination, right? And just hallucination, John. Saying very much like Dorothy, insisting reality was odd to an auntie. M. It was real, Rigel. It was real. It was real. I mean, we both saw it, Rigel. Hmm. But he didn't come back. And so he didn't hurt, he didn't hurt us. But didn't take the food, he laughs a little. John, we have, we have to find a way out of here. It's kind of fi- it's hard to find. Go listen for a weird, strange noise. Everything about the normal. Why don't you know how weird noise? Does my stomach count? It bursts in laughter. John catches him. John catches him again. No, that's not that's not funny. That's not funny, Rigel. Look, I've got to get out of here before I end up like you. Roger Watt, handsome, with power, great sexual paralysis, his foes with Dean. John reaches out and pinches Rigel's lips together. With one hand, he shakes a finger at him and the other. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shh. Nope, I've got to get out of here. So, either help me or help me. Roger, huh? huh? John struggles to keep a straight face, John. He can't do it. He picks up and staggers away from Rigel. Leave me alone, he flees. Rigel crawling after him. Be in the gallery of the food. A monster. He sells off my laughing mansion. Thank God. Cut to John. Rigel crawling after him. In the gallery, the gallery of food. A monster. He calls a, sells off a laughing mansion. Cut to John. Sniggering. John walking the horse. 
The other morning I was sniggering to myself, John, that was funny. He is a sucker of biting sound. As my noise. He hit follows it to source somewhere down in my antique glass. Okay, yes. One more into the looking glass. He swings under the shaft, giggling, slight down on its uh, on his tush. He appears in a light fresh and light a few hours in. Cut to normal my ankle barns. Did then frustrate angrily. He can't find him, Pollock. Fortunately yet again. Pollock but no crime shall view her. Is he on ease? Show still show off the sun and Pierre and Blue. Why do outside the central central chamber, Diego? Then Dana complete I know I've not got it wrong for I ends. They're yeah, nowhere. Pollock and then has been the top races. And bid to locate them. I've got no drink the fact that they're there. There. I'm trying to oh them. And why can't we see them? Pilot because John entering because you don't have X-ray vision, do you? The name revealed, revealed. John, where have you been? John, right here, Pilot. What do you know about parallel rapture, reality, temporal shifts? Two options are occurring in the same space at the same time. Pilot, the wheel are turning. Some important message, information, please. John, there are at least one, at least three other boys right here, right now. Pilot, do you know the mathematical hypothesis? Dimensional seconds of light and sound destroying the complex elements? John, red, blue, yellow. Then hypothesis. I can't be materialized, Pilot. That's us what happened to us. Starlight Starburst is technically the scene in space, time, dimensions, Maya, Star Show. They allow us to access them. We simply ride out the engine stream till we pushed out at random, clean air, and crisis. Push us out at random. Sit down, not now, sit down. Sit down, what do you know? Not now. We got in this light stream. We didn't know what, where we were going. Pilot said, finally. I have a most appropriate, next appropriate thought. You're the welcome to leave. Sidan, take it back, that was definitely time. And it's that great stare, oh. Sidan, tell us what happened, Pollock. Pollock, carefully, as you saw, blame. Fred on there's someone beside him. Where? And I haste to accommodate so you wouldn't bend. Where I enter Starburst without the adequate fluff. A moment we appear to be. His voice goes shivery white like pitch. Stop. John Walgate's here. We still need our base. Pilot trying to cover up his full prayers. Technique jargon. Archive wine insertion vector. We're wrong in subsequent presentations. Ah. John, see and send me. So it's the science lab pilot. You should have told us we were about going to stop us. Now we are stuck in onto un- 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 what? Pilot Weekly. Where well, there's on the other side. Cut to a bit of Moya. Friends by red, blue, and yellow doppelgangers. A fan out of our body like petals of feathers of flower. See the light and primary colours intersect them. Cut to the corridor look like a round ball. Normal Mo- Moya, Satan, John, and Dan are walking. Jenna, will you say a creature? What kind of creature? Wait, wait, what kind of eat? What kind that eats us? So Dan, it's possible. They can be, you can sure. We saw a fragment from the other dimension, John. John, that is that pilot says it's that put the air. So Dan, I've always always wondered what would happen beyond height and weight, width, depth and time. John nausea. John so Dan spiritually. John that's a good wish. So Dan Pilot does says he says we don't want have enough power to feel free. What are where are we going to go where are we going to go? So John, first thing, protect yourselves in case that pilot creature do eat us. John, first thing, protect yourself in case that creature does eat the first kind. The two fine weapons, weapons, trying to work with pilot. So then, what do you do have in mind, John? Get the others, bring them back, he leaves them. Got the pilot's plane. John is standing next to him, behind his console, trying to explain something to him. Pilot, follow the sequence exactly. When the iron backlash reaches maximum funnel, I'll try to reverse propulsion, Pilot John, already. 
Fred, you look, Fred doesn't look at John. And his elation would change as the result of failure. John, I should stay. He steps across the front of the pilot. Between his arms, the pilot walks around him. A delicate forearm ballet. Hey, hey, he does. A delicate pilot works around him. A delicate forearm ballet. She goes, showing she passed. Look, pilot. Why is my being sent synchronized off this field? But not for you, but you, me, the others. Pilot, relative dimensions. However, the substance is more pronounced than 20 yards. You now connect with the Moya as I am. The effects are becoming invincible. They're being drawn further into my element, into my moment. John, have you, and when we get pulled apart, John, the pilot, no killer disappear. John, you know, pilot, pilot, you don't have it. Pilot, John, you know, pilot, Maya did not have to go and stop us until she was ready. Follow the sequence exactly. When the iron backlit reaches maximum funnel, it will time to reverse for a potion. John, I'll try. But he doesn't look at John. A divination may result in failure. John, I should try. He steps across the fire and the pilot between his arms. Pilot works around him in delicate forearm ballet as he goes, allowing him to pass. Look, pilot. Why is Maya becoming synchronized off by this deal? But not by you, me, and the others. John, relative to the densities of heaven, the substance. Firm pronounced to be large. You now connect with Moya as I am. Effects of a cone invincible. We are being drawn further in by the moment. But John, and when we get pulled apart, pilot nuclear dysopia. John, you knew no pilot. Joyam did not have to go and stop us until she was ready. But how is hardly time for recrimination, she commander. John, as he grows, he steps nearer to pilot. And lay the hand on the great creature's shoulder. John shows the pace of work, and John, look, pilot shows those pace of work. And looks at John. It was a week of a, it wasn't a good combination. We should have been more upfront about our feelings. How's he doing? Pilot, same as us, scared. John, well, we we do what we can. Pilot, she knows. John puts, packs him comfortably. Cut back to normal players corridor. John meets up with Sedan and Zedan, or met arms. Sedan and Sedan, China, are armed. John, you'll be, you'll be happy to know we have a plan, Sedan. You'll be happy to know it works. John, first thing we find the others, Sedan. No, we're going with you, Sedan. The aid on the others may be injured, Sedan. Sedan, no, I'll get to say this. John, Sedan, no, John, nope. Suddenly roaring his herd, three leap. They streaks of light come tearing through the air, air, airway that swirls them. They out, they out all three of freedom hit the deck and rip the light path for where the, the, their heads have been. Doubling and stopping. Doubling back and stopping to focus them for a moment on John. Later cut to the unnerved scene and as an Anne enter the maintenance bay, the serato blinking bay made is heard. Sedan, we stay together the whole time, Sedan, no roaming. Sedan, yes, mother. John coming in behind it, also arms, no mum. Plan was changed for Sedan. You stay here, pilot. That creature goes back, just shoot it, Sedan, even if there's still a full fire. I wouldn't hesitate. John moving Sedan to a spot on the floor. Right here, you ready, Pip? Sedan, nervously. Huh? Pip means John, my favourite travelling companion. Sedan, before I got here, did they believe anything Anything you said? He gives her a shirt forward, and she sucked at the mod wire. John follows her immediately, growing into nausea and ducting losing light. Sedan looks around, I thought you said, you read that it hurt your head. John gagging as he claps a hand over his eyes. Ah, it does. Sedan, please. Well, not me, to me. John, I'm glad, so glad. Come on, let's get... He peeks and sees Dago into him wearing a building sweater. Dago alive, Dago barely. Sight effects, thinking, motor functions. Seeing the hyena smug and chuckling. Not to me, Dago ignoring her to John. I thought early on, but there's a meaning, it may happen to you. John, 
that is, that is way too much to go into right now. Suffice to say that Maya had a little problem during the star bus. She raised herself to other dimension, bit off into these four different think parts. They go, have you ever heard of anything like this happening before? John Diego, I haven't heard of anything like this, like that before. I have it doesn't even go to the moon anymore. See, they are very serious. I heard of it. My people, weapon scientists, once once proved a hole, po- poked a hole through another dimension. Once it widened, they lost control. Diego, yeah, what happened? See, no, no one's sure. Or so this whole system, whole system, four populated planets dissolved by tiny chunks. That's why I want to get out of here. John, we will. Pick up between his fingers of Dago's visor. I think help. Dago barely. I only wrench every once in a while, for a while now. John, look, we've got to get hit the engine started in each of my four incarnations in order to get out of here. Dago, pilot isn't here to operate me. John, it's all right. He told me what to do. At that moment, those roaring creatures with tearing streams of light appeared. It pulled and correlates into a ball of bright light, brilliant light. Seems as earth then. They shrink away from it. It was, I was going to tell you about that. Chino is the ball of light. Stops and intensifies. Look, John is trying to come in, trying to come through the other side. Diego, let us encourage it. John, to stand down about the gun she has. You know how to use that thing. John, I'm not scared. I'm scared, workless. Not stupid. Diego, one, two, fire. John is crying. Seen in the day go out and fire. Hey, what happened to three? But the creature disappears. I also saw a hail of little bolts of light from the weapons. So, you know, we did it. Diego doesn't feel like a victory. So, oh, not, a, not at all. Cut the pilots then around Red Moya. John and Diego back behind pilots. Console, John is trying to slow down. Show him what pilot said to do. Play. John, look, we ought to get get the engines to start of each of those four locations in order to get out of here. They got pilots. They they don't here to operate them. John, it's all right. He told me how what to do. At that moment, a roaring creature, terrifying, tearing streams of light appears, pulls and correlates in a ball of brilliant light. See, the Zerbin, they shrink away from it. I've got to tell you about. I, I was going to tell you about that. See, then, now, as the ball of light stops and says, "Look, John, I'm trying to come from the other side." Let's come from the side. There you go, let's discourage it. John, she's in. The gun she has. You know how to use that thing? She you know, I'm scared, grotless, but stupid. There you go, one, two, fire. John is sitting in the go up and fire. Hey, what happened to three? The green tree disappears off a hell of little bolts of light. And the weapons, you know, we did it. There you go. Doesn't feel like a victory. John, not at all. Cuts the gun, pilots then. A bold dread Maya. John Dago behind Pilot's console. And John is trying to show him what Pilot can said to do. She then wandered around the den. den. She again was gleaning over the fact she had been affected by the red light. John eventually. Diego is slow on the uptake there here. John is woozy. Neo button. They never slide. Look, I can stay. You go get the errands, no angel. Diego, you are in no condition. John, well, you've been, you've been here longer. Diego. We can barely stand, don't try and see now. Now you, you said that this light doesn't affect you, Shannon. Really wearing it, oh, yeah. No, yes it does, light doesn't affect me. No, I won't stay alone. And no, I won't stay alone. There you go, John speaks the words for with him. Take, just take the girl, there you go, finish it alone. I'll be okay. John, all right, you know how to get out in a case. So get out in a case, something that goes wrong. There you go. Yes, above the statutory state pool. Yeah, I'll go. John is crying from behind the console. All right, give us a half an arm and fire out everything in reverse. There you go. Remember for the first seven minutes, you told me John realizes to repent. Rich, ah, he's not here. Now go. I don't want to forget. I want that here. But John pukes energetically. There you go. Groans. She in a determined tone. Doesn't affect me. She and John leave. Cut to the portal landing to Boom Moya. John is giving China a red up to pass through. Shin are you sure about this, John? Just go about go up. Shinan, where is the tree what is the creature waiting? John it can piss off. And piss it off. See the hell. John, pretend it's me. 
At that, he pushes Trina through the portal, and then he follows her. The hubris is swift, and Trina, smugness is being unaffected by the red light. Is gone. The noise of blue light is agonizing. Beyond the ability to write, he screams and screams, and unable to retain the stand. John throws her over his shoulder and sprints through Blue Mire to Rider Quarters, where he pushes her through the portal to the Yellow Mire, before going to find more arrow guys. He enters the mind of play. Light creature makes another appearance. This time his ribbon shred all night create create the visible, visible damage, so especially smoke grasses and barren's prowler and walls of Moya. Two looks the fire and he turns to see Aaron shooting thing at the drawers. He's wearing a headset with covers both ears, microphone attached and both hands. Another set to, to John. They mute the tail within the blue Moya and make verbal communication possible. John Hay, am I much better? Aaron, are you all right? John Aaron is a genius. Aaron a modified flight hug us. Say, can we log out of two sleep waylays at all? John is bad, not bad for a girl who hates to do bone work. Aaron, well, his many trick is battle tested. Why did we did not shoot at that thing? John, I don't know. Aaron, you didn't don't? Brilliant didn't see it's frightened. Have you seen my parallel? John, oh, oh yeah, I was here at for that show. You missed it. We look. John thinks my had been wedged into another dimension, Aaron, at that thing. Trying to get into ours, John, yeah. Aaron, have you found the others? John, well. Why separate off in separate environments? Vegas one, why just somewhere else? We're here. Aaron, clearly you found a route to get through. John, yeah. But it got no further. We get stuck in any further. Aaron, is there their plan? John, yep. Aaron, well. John, read really, the pilot needs more power. Always have to go or reverse at the same time. Aaron, annoyed that should... It should have been the first thing you told me, Aaron. He t- ha- turns the head, pilots down. John, making an answer, running after. Yeah, I know, I know. But I was busy, yeah, busy making time. Aaron, wait, wait, let me, t- let me show you what you've got, what me, what to do. Aaron, I know the sequence for full reverse. Get on with the others, the others. Pilot, John Pollock, that's pretty specific about what he wanted. Aaron, that's some of Pollock's DNA, remember? John Pollock was very specific. Aaron reciting. Rotate blue crystal, trim yellow disc, extinguish yellow light, orange light, open covering rods, that. John and Aaron paneled and suppressed at half ways. Aaron alone. Die, die, try, connect up, open. Hot progression, purple, green, orange, and green lights, green knob. John and Aaron, maximum crush. John, it's going to be harder to draw, draw out into the future. Aaron, well, I apologise for my strengths. John, give me half an arm, and then we'll fire it up. Aaron, go, got it. It plays part. John, please, please. The gaze of glowing, the gaze of steaming glowing gashes left by the creature. But John is the answer. John, she's there, sparky, sparky. He fits off to look off, look for them. He finds some holes that are now cut off. Conventional sinkers and crack. Cut to pollock on the yellow moire. Mo- 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 he sits behind the console and trying to clean her to be in a balance beam at the top. Both are gagging like fools as she idle. Careful, careful, don't slip and straddle. Third all the air bump bubbles out. They both yell in laughter. John ain't really away early. I'm so glad to see you two, you safe, Tina. Well, I said you have. John, Max, Aaron, first of face. Press John, it's going to be harder. No doubt. To doubt you in the future, Aaron. Well, I apologise for straight. John, we have an arm, then fire it up, Aaron. Got it. They part way. John gazes as the streaming, growing rashes out, left by the creature. Cut to John, he enters. John, see him, sparky, sparky. Fits off, look after that for them. But find some holes. Cut off by the metro sickers and crack. Cut a pilot dean of yellow moya. Rise sit behind the console. See then doing a balance beam. Act to stop it. Both are getting like fools. Rise careful, careful. Don't slip and die. Shannon bubbles out. But they both be able to laugh at John and see one of them. I'm so glad to see you two are safe, Shannon. Sinan. 
I said you will have to look at it in your face. You ride your blue jay, see? John is replied behind the constable. Well, I was worried about you. Do you know? Well, I found Rigel and managed to bring him here. And then we started talking. I do know any good job, Joan, but I don't want to live in. Rigel tips all right, Mr. Sears. What are we doing? So I'm putting my propulsion system to the full reverse. Rigel, uh, full reverse? No, John made it from the house of Rigel. I was told reverse. John, I turn around, turn you going forward. And then I see him, Rigel, crack madly. You stay here with Napoleon. Uh, any more reason the engine to shut down? You stole the green knob. Jillian, unable to keep a straight face, and all the green knob. Knob. John, restore the green knob. Uh, you do that? I'll let you take a transport down to the next high. Hey. Rigel, right, 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 that's outrageous. Jillian, grinning brainlessly. Green knob, green knob. John, good girl, hang tough. It's lucky. Joy of personality. He starts to leave. Rigel begins to sing. Much to Jillian's delight. Oh, there's no expense of the mind that you cannot converse. Visiting the distant lady across the universe. The blessings many in the stars give me unlamented to curse. Fixing right your glory me, a trouble in the reverse. Those miles of face of ha ha. A little dance that goes with that. I can't do them at the same time. Cut the John sliding down the shaft of the yellow Maria. The normal Maria laughing to the end, right with the gun. John, ha ha, whoa, whoa. I wish people would stop putting guns at me. Sam, Rainy didn't show and begin to think it was wrong. Place, they exit the shaft. Pipe reports full for reverse power. You did it, John. John, what about the creature? Then, well, I keep shooting it. It keeps coming back. John, well, we've got to hold it off until Pollock can get us out of here. You know, she's wearing blue and a gold robe, a vestment. Then I suddenly realised the girl can refer to the priesthood in practice by nodding my soul. John, why you put them on there? Say, Dan, I fear we may die here soon. He pulls at Johnson the corridor and ends in blank white light before jumping off the walls of Staman. Whole section. He swallowed up Pilot. It's getting worse. Pilot on clamshells be worse. As John and Zidane enter the command, frightened. John, looking at, it, intently up at the glowing slashes card, but into the wall, what a creature. Pilot report. Pilot, no, not good, despite by his best efforts. The being drawn in, there is one very long shot. Zan, anything, Pilot. Pilot, uh, Brother Moya could willingly lose her baby. John, no. Zan, no way, Pilot, bleakly. It would definitely increase her power point quotient. Uh, I'm not sure it's quite enough to preserve free. John, Pilot, no. We cannot ask Moya to make that sacrifice, Pilot. We should have not attempted to us when we did. Our uh, soon could have brought us up to the place. So the baby cannot survive if we don't. John, listen to me. Whatever happens, we go together. We keep the baby. At that moment, the light creature appears, roaring. Zidane, John. Pilot, it's Zidane. He claws fire out a gesture of terror. He shoots, shoot. It, Moya is very scared. Please shoot it. Moya is scared, big fella. John, don't fire. Zidane's coming through, John. Hold widely. John, staring at the growing scratch its tears in its wall. Prime numbers, the scratch of the group in prime numbers. Three, five, seven, one, eleven prime. Zed is trying to communicate. John, you bet you are blue ass. Pilot grass, resume. My suspicion, the creature. Are you trying to communicate them? A reference to Zedan's assured body beauty. Is an attack. Zedan is anticipation. Pilot, as John approaches the creature, I urge you to, to shoot it. John, I'm trying to communicate. I know it's not attacking. Puts aside his gun and walks towards the light in which the creature is. Zedan, John, no. Well, that hole closes up. John, when I'm dead, a few minutes before you, that's all. He steps in the light and finds himself in a glaring white void. Creature is there, instinct and autonomous, amorphous. Blue, blue and red and pulsates. Oh, his most resembles a sea creature. I have a core, a sponge. Who are you? A dimensional being, a cold, feminine voice, unimportant. Continuous breach of existence. John, is that where I am? Your dimension and dimensional being. There can, no, there can be no overlap. The expanse between your mental organ, they able to interpret the chasm of your own existence, John chuckling. So you got that right, pal. A dimensional being, my functions pair breaches. John, does that happen a lot? In dimensional being, my functions are pair breaches. John, does that happen a lot? In dimensional being, never before this has been material. John, bad news, pal, we're living. Can you help us get out? 
if it's been and must destroy all material breaches fate of Zom. Oh, it's hang on. Give us a chance. We're trying to get back. The intimate being that path will tear the rupture beyond re- restoration. John, so what are you saying? There's our way to intervene forward. John, forward? I thought you said we could be consistent with your assistance. We have been attempted to contact you to the place where you will begin. John, Thobos, if you have been to be I can guide, you must find your own thrust forward. John, wait. What if we don't have enough power? We have been forward. John Waite, the creature disappeared. John is thrust back through the portal to his own dimension. Bold Norman Moyer, do you hear? Do you hear it? Then hear what? It's barely out of your head. Inside the hole and out again. So I closed John panting. The creature is torture. Quite frankly, just really. Commander, there isn't a time. There isn't time, John. There was for me. You've got to tell Moyer to stop resisting. He has to go forward. Start us forward. Quite indignant, I will not. John, we don't have to got a choice. Not... You tell me what to do, and I'll relate it to the others. Pilot Trustman. Pilot, I and John, but that we relate you. We do this to final four control. John Wright, give me 500 Rikonauts. Then go. Say so then, John, John, what is it? What have you wrong, John? Are you, are you going to pray any money? Pilot, I see. 500. 499, John. I'm right. At, uh, John takes off running. 498, he passes through the portal to Red Wire. Okay, so then, 4472, 471, 470. Lego enters the pilot's den. The engine on full reverse. Does it work? John peeps at the his feet. Ugh. John, turn it down. Wrong direction. We have to go forward. John, there you go. No, it's suicide. John, her, no. The same control sequence is reversed. The last four commands. There you go. Can you explain to me how you arrived? Decision? John, oh no, no. No time. Just wait for the end of my clothes. Head forward. There you go. I have no time to keep you the race. John, we're giving you one. Miss, one, Mississippi, one. One, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, two. One, Mississippi, three. Three hundred forward. There you go, Diane. He translated, translated microbes. Clearly feeling as silly as tired as you sound. One, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, three, Mississippi, four, Mississippi. Cut to John entering Blue Moyer. He isn't able to get to Moyer's de- pilot's den. Corridors are blocked by Dimitri Sekism. He get puts on a headset and calls to Aaron. John Aaron, are you there? Aaron's responding from elsewhere in Boy and Moya. Where have you been? John on to run. Where are you? Aaron, I'm trying to get out of here. I don't know. You were coming back, John. I'll never leave you. Making time again. Aaron, something the matter? John. Ah, we got it wrong. We have to go forward, Aaron. Just tell me what to do. What to do. John, one five fifty micro will not will watch. So now Four mechs and thrusts. You know what, how to do that? Aaron, yes, of course I do. John, good. Hey, look, this dimensional thing's chopping up the ship. You know a way I can get to the quarters? Aaron, well, the lower decks have gone. You might want to try it here. No, the, the iron backlash cha- through the iron backlash chamber. I've uh, got to head back to pilots. So, uh, John, one five fifty microts. Aaron, one thirty now. Good luck. John, back to you, at you, baby. The Sudafi managed to find a path to enter the sea. Portal to the yellow warrior. There again. He went his way to increase his block by seconds on 451 to 250. Why do John finally stumble some pilots down the board? The yellow warrior. Oh, there you are. Sit down and look at him. Why do the other runners go through here a while ago? John still just seems for starters to see. Why do No, the new force is frightening. Why? What used to be important isn't. What well, should be put, never will be. John, as you get behind the console, Rigel. Great. That way, when this is the whole thing's ruled up, the die, you're not going to be ringing in my ear, right? Rigel laughs at John. Counts 12, 11. Gene and a tickling John. Hey, why didn't you let join in the fun? John, give me seven seconds, baby. So come and get go together. Four, three to one, the integrates. Jason, the bit makes thrust. The ship begins to shut up Whoa, the hell we screwed. Wait till he ducks down and comes up between John's arms. So it's all it's all so it's memorable. Gene and laughing, yes. A scene shifts a stunned door that shot at Moya. She and red, blue, yellow doppelgangers begin to come together like fangs holding up. Cut back to Pilot's den. Each of Metro Sickers and closes. The crew is pulled pulled back into the same plane of existence. Oh no one may have flashes to the mention lights. 
because they're all like pilots to the council, various miners. They all wind up tumbled atop one another, begin to whoop and laugh with relief. Exhausted, Nigel and Elias. Pilot, he's the only one not laughing. I look sadly at the others as a fall apart laughing, hugging each other. Can't see any source of your movement, he says quietly, and no one in particular. Later cut into to Mario's gallery. Crude once again to indulge in big meal, but this time they actually feel more like a group of friends, happy after a long work weekend. There are several naked conversations of doing, going on once, join a conversation Dago, no, no, you did not say, say that. Dago, I did. I was very shameless with my mouth. John, and that what? Dago, of course not. The girl screams, I was almost arrested, the bursts into laughter. Smith is his hand. And when he doesn't give it back, he beats the greatest out of him. Should I be telling you this? Sit down, my dear, I kicked more off you sat on. Rachel? Oh yes, I spent all evening listening to them gripe and whine about me, but of course, the invaders are their domino. Aaron, I admire your openness to criticise them now, Rachel. When did you tell them who you were? Why you at the trial, of course. A general laughter. There you go, everyone. Just me or this best food we ever had. Sit down, nothing like the taste of death. Clear the plate, palate. Aaron, ah, uh, I suppose there isn't a thing here. I haven't couldn't live on for a cipher. Zidane, you accept maybe this. He's holding a big roll of something with Bourbon's brain. Drago, no, I was silly because of lack of taste that is the guy, John. Hey, oh, those are Grandma Crichton's famous Bilbo milk biscuits. Wait, what's in them? John, self raising flour, short, salt shortening, built murder milk, tight to honey. Zidane, but we have none of these ingredients, John. John, hmm, maybe that's the problem. They all laugh. By the breaking in, once again, saying a bit miffed. Being left out, perhaps. I'm sorry to interrupt your meal. But how can you be so jovial? After all, only a miss, Aaron. You're affected for family by it, pilot. How are you two handling it? Yeah. Pilot, well enough to evaluate. Evaluate your concerns about Starbo's problem. Being the change as stated by the baby. There you go, after a long moment of evaporation, silence. The crew, is she in any danger? Pilot, doing fine, suddenly eager. Or something to share with the crew too. Actually, more than fine. John, we're going to have a baby. Pilot, yes. We know the exact timetable for the brain gestation. Why well, it feels confident day's coming. By the old phone. Well, in that case, tell her yes, she's the time that it's born. She can name it after me. She's Nemo. That we only work. That, that could only work if it's a runt. Well, watch it, Daily. John, there's only this is one of the good days, Peter. He raises a glass and a toast to a happy, happy baby, Rigel, high as ear. There you go. Takes up John. Takes on Grant Rose first and drinks thanks. Roseanne, Rigel. He leans across the table to give him a hug and kisses. As he yells a protest as the scene dissolves in merry chaos.